What does it mean to be a leader in what you do? I think from an engineering standpoint, the, the people that, and what I try to do and what I try to emulate, uh, engineers want to know that the people that are guiding the ship uh, know where they're coming from, think like they think, and will defend them uh, and defend their interests. And I think that's probably true for most employees. You know, they want to know that, uh, you know, I'm sure that people in, in marketing and accounting want to know that their views are being re represented and defended, at, you know, to other people in the company. Um, so the, th the, the qualities that I look for in an engineering leader are, uh, I don't think really nice people uh, work well as engineering leaders um, or leaders in general because uh, they haven't really learned the you can't please everybody all the time thing. And it's particularly true with engineering because the problem with engineering is technically with enough computing power and enough money, anything's feasible, um, technically, right? Uh, but as a technical leader, you have to be you have to be able to say, no, we can't do that, and then explain why. Yeah. Uh, and if you're unwilling to do that, and you say yes to too many features and too many, too many people, um, it wreaks havoc on the engineering organization because now they're under extreme deadlines and there's, you, know, you, can only, you only have so much capacity. I think one of the things that a lot of engineering leaders haven't really wrapped their brain around is that um, engineers manufacture features in code, right? And just like a normal manufacturing facility, you can only produce so many widgets in a given day with so many machines. So if you have a bunch of engineers, even if they're amazingly talented engineers, they can only produce so much code at a given time. Um, so if you have an engineering manager that's off out in the rest of the company and like, oh yeah, accounting, we can totally build that. Oh yeah, marketing, we can totally build that. Oh yeah, we can totally build this. But you only have one or two engineers, next thing you know, you've got 10 things that need to be out and that's when stuff gets off the rails and the engineers start getting really upset.